Hey, what's up everybody? Today I wanted to share with you guys how to deal with Z fighting in the 3DS Max viewport. So some people call it screen tearing. Um, it is an issue where the GPU is having a hard time figuring out which face should occupy a certain coordinate, right? So it's overlapping. And the reason for that, I, I don't quite understand it from a technical standpoint, but I just know that um, when you do have a model that's taking up a huge area in the model space, right? So a, a large model, not meaning by poly count, but large in geographic area. What will happen when you import something like this is you're going to e inevitably end up with this C fighting. And there was a long time I didn't know how to fix this, and it was a real pain. Whenever I'd encounter it, um, I'd, I'd want to cry because I knew I was in for a nightmare of a time. And what I used to do was just switch it to orthographic mode and try to work in orthographic mode as much as possible. And you can see that it goes away in orthographic mode. However, it's still not ideal. It's very, very annoying to try to work in orthographic mode sometimes. Um, when you're trying to position things or do modeling, orthographic isn't ideal. So there's a quick and easy way to fix it in perspective mode. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. All you need to do is go up here to perspective, come down to viewport clipping, and we're going to click there. All right, and initially it doesn't fix it. And if I move up here, you can see off to the side, there are there's a bar here with some arrows, and then there's a little hash where each arrow is sitting. Now, if I would take the bottom arrow, and if we move it down, it actually makes the clipping worse. But if we come up above that hash just slightly, there's on the hash and slightly above it, just, just a hair above it, solves it. So... This made a huge difference. All right, so sometimes if you do set your hash, I mean, set your viewport clipping up above that hash a little bit, and you try to zoom into something, you're still, you still may run into um, some issues with clipping in the viewport, right? So you fix the visual issues by adjusting the viewport clipping distance, but now you can't zoom in closely to things. So all you have to do is just move that back down slightly, and you're going to see that you're getting that, that Z fighting again, but now you can zoom into what you need to in the foreground. Right, and then as soon as you're done, just lift it up just a hair to get rid of that Z fighting issue. Now the other thing you can do is when you do need to zoom in, just turn off viewport clipping. Right? So just turn it off, make your your close adjustments, and then when you back up, oops, then just turn turn it back on. And now, anything that you need to do from a distance, you can do, and anything that you need to do close up, you can do um, just adjust your viewport clipping. So you can also set that to a keyboard shortcut. Right here. So we have viewport clipping. So I'm going to set mine to shift tilde key okay now I can zoom in get the issue turn off clipping fix what I got to do back up and just immediately turn it back up so I can toggle it on and off very 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 quickly so that's the way that I would recommend dealing with that um, but Anyway, I hope that was helpful in dealing with viewport clipping, I mean, um, Z fighting through using viewport clipping in the 3ds Max viewport. All right, hope everyone.
everybody has a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.